Hey TJ, it's your old pal Earl. Um, this time I'm here to support you uh, about your uh, uh, homophobes um, and their, their logic of uh, uh, homosexuality as being a choice. And uh, how that, you know, there's tons of uh, just kind of straight guys out there that are like, uh, you know, I'm dating the ladies. That's what my dad did. That's what my granddad did. And that's what my, uh, that's what my brothers are doing. That's what the guys at school are doing. You know, just fall, I'm just falling in line. You know, it's, 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 it's the common, it's the common thing. Doing a homophobe, uh, video, uh, Kila. All right. And so, basically, they just haven't been given a sales pitch. They're just really, as you say, one sales pitch away uh, to dig in the penis. The penis, it's, it's got to be awesome, right? And I, I'm figuring, uh, well, what happens when, you know, you have an oral? You know, what's that going to taste like? And I imagine it, uh, here's the sales pitch, guys. It, uh, I imagine it tastes like uh, whatever, you know, your diet is. Uh, so in my instance, it, it tastes like malt liquor. Um, and coffee. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, is that not a good enough sales pitch for you? You're like, well, I'm not so sure. I'm going to just rush out and give oral. Um, all right, try this then. Uh, go date a guy. I mean, just stop, stop dating girls right now. We're going to get to this choice thing. Just make the choice. You're going to date guys. Pick a guy with a really sweet outfit. Um, like a sweet wardrobe is what I mean. Like, just imagine, like, say you like shopping at REI. And you meet another guy who likes shopping at REI. Go date and then move in together. It's like your wardrobe has either doubled or it's almost as if now all the clothes that you wear are now like they're half off. So that's got to be cool. Oh, you know, how many times, like, have you been, like, trying to do something with, like, your girlfriend? Like, say, like, move a couch or, uh, you know, try to pull a fully loaded canoe over uh, uh, some, some down trees in the river? They can't do it. Um, you know, you know, the ladies, God bless them, a lot of times they're, they're just not as strong as guys. You can get a really, really strong uh, boyfriend. Like, just next time you're moving and, like, moving guys show up, just kind of look at them. Just kind of, just judge them. Just, just like, I'm going to give up the thought that, you know, like, well, I like women. You know, that's a choice. I'm going to choose to like guys right now. Just look at those guys and figure out which one would I like to get in a, into a dark room. Dark is key. Uh, but basically, you're just going to just pick the strongest one, because you know, that'll be handy. No more struggling with jars. Um, and then let's get back to the darkness. Well, how do I choose? Like, so say I've made the choice uh, to be homosexual. What now? I don't know what to do. Just turn out the lights and uh, do what you like. Uh, seriously. Um, and soon, soon you like so after like five, ten years of this, then you could come back and say, homosexuality is a choice. I chose it way back in the day when I was just straight as, as an arrow. Um, and uh, we'll go, well, yeah, you convinced me, this one guy did, but I didn't probably need to see a lot of people do it. So probably a huge amount of homophobes just to get like a good a good uh, uh, basis uh, to compare it to. Um, like if 75% of them came back and said, I love it, I love it now. I totally made the choice to like it. It does taste like malt liquor and coffee. And uh, I'll never go back. My wardrobe's twice its own size. Uh, I moved my whole house in two hours. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that would then it would be a choice. It would be a choice. TJ, I'll, I'll see you in the tubes.